I'm Kill the Vid, your host for the 9 to 5 Outlaw Does Gaming YouTube and Twitch channel. I'm back with another edition of Let's Play Classic. Today's game featured, we're going back to the year 2011, Rockstar Games. One game that stood out despite the controversy behind the making of the game was L.A. Noir from the defunct team Bandai Company. More on that later. Right now, we're going to be doing L.A. Noir Patrol on the 9 to 5 Outlaw Does Gaming YouTube and Twitch channel. And now, Let's play. It's been a while. And since this is Let's Play Classic, these are games that I've played before. And we're revisiting, we're going back to memory lane. Here we go. If this is your first time on my channel, please do a solid like, city on the verge comment, of greatness. and subscribe to 9 to 5 Outlaws on the man, YouTube on the and Twitch channel. The car, the symbol of freedom and vitality. I would greatly appreciate that. Where every man can own his own home and have room to breathe and not be overlooked by his neighbors. Type in the comments. If you remember L.A. Noir, the city if you where played L.A. Noir, castle, I would like to hear the of the dream made possible by victory. The city of opportunists. The city of dreams, where Hollywood will shape the thoughts and desires of the entire planet. City of Pioneers. It takes place in Los Angeles during 1946, post World War II era. The City of Dreamers. Where Hollywood was still in its golden age. City of Undercurrents, where not everything is as it seems. A 20th century city that will become a model. You get to play the right side of the law in, in L.A. Noir. Unlike Grand Theft Auto. A city that has no boundaries. That will stretch as far as the eye can see. That's Keith Zarabachka, he's Herschel Biggs. He was on TV shows such as Sons of Anarchy, The Equalizer. In the Marine Corps, you deal with the chain of command. Mistakes get made, but you deal with them. You know what you're fighting for and that you're on the same team. But dealing with corruption is like chasing shadows. You never know whether the guy you're talking to is on the pad, or whether it's your partner, or maybe even the watch commander. So who do you trust, Cole? I made up my mind a long time ago. KGBL calling car 14 Adam. 14 Adam, come in. Go, Go ahead, KGPL. 14 Adam, see the detective. An ambulance shooting at 6th and Industrial Street. I'm here 16 as William fuck. request uniform assistance for an evidence search. 14 Adam, code 2. Roger, 14 Adam en route. Here we go again. 
They don't request uniforms for an evidence search unless there's some kind of catch. Ever the optimist. From the beam of sunshine himself. Floyd Rose, homicide. You might back up? Yes, sir. Phelps and Dunn, Wilshire Division. We had a shooting took place down this alleyway. We have the Vic, Scooter Payton, a Negro male bagged up and on his way to Central Morgue. Witness says a tall white guy, our shooter, put two in the Vic's head and then threw his piece. I need you guys to try and recover the gat. You want us to look anywhere in particular? Give it your best shot, guys. The dead guy's a low life. I'm not expecting any miracles here. And if we recover the weapon? Bag it and return it to technical services. You hurry it up, Floyd. We I'm got out of here. To be. Happy hunting. Yeah, like the bar. Rusty Galloway is a drunk. This is a fist hump. Just going through the motions. You're probably right. Let's just get it over and done. All right, have it your way. We'll search so right up to the back wall. In this wall. game, you do start off. If you still don't come up with anything, come York find me, and we'll talk it out. Detective. Two heads Working are always better than desks, one. Including traffic. Homicide, vice, and arson. So let's go look around. Look at this junk. When you hear these music cues, they indicate a clue. One, this newspaper. It's not my job to pick through other people's trash. Reenactment. Dr. Fontaine. Could I have a word? Of course, young man. I really enjoyed your lecture, Doctor. Psychiatry seems to have a tremendous amount to offer. Why, thank you. I'm always happy to receive acknowledgement for my work. The mind is the last great mystery in medicine. Are you thinking of specializing, Mr... Sheldon, or Courtney Sheldon. I'm only in second year, Doctor. They fast-tracked me a year because of my experience during the war. Ah. That's what I wanted to talk to you about. Battle fatigue and collapse under duress. Can it be helped? I would say yes, given the right set of circumstances. Trauma forces the mind to close down, retreat in on itself. We try to find ways to unlock That's the mind Peter again. Blomquist. Through a combination of therapy him. and He's drug treatment. Voice Hypnosis and, and therapy are Michael powerful Bell tools Red Dead Redemption in the right hand. Shift. I've been to visit some of the guys at the VA hospital. As Dr. Harlan Vaughn. A good friend of mine. He's so far away. It's like he's wandering around. You went through a lot me. together. Yes, Doctor. Give me his details and I'll make a prognosis. I have a number of clinics in Los Angeles, Courtney Shelton. And your penance, or your friend's help, is to come and work at one of them in your spare time with what little spare time a medical student has. Is that a deal? Is it ever? I, I can't thank you enough. I'm not promising a cure, Courtney. I want you to remember that. Every physician has patients that he cannot hope to cure, for whom he can only smooth the path to death. What have you got, Phelps? Anything? Just a newspaper with a flashback and a bottle that's like uncircum that has Jeez. no relation Cole, to the case. Come take a look at this. Ooh, that don't look good. I tell you, I'm jinxed. I always get landed with this crap. Shooter put him up against the wall and blew his brains out. Hell of a way to go. Doesn't really matter how you go once you're gone. <laughs> Don't get all deep on me, Phelps. We're never going to find it. It's a waste of time. Some of the cases depicted in this game are based off of real cases, including the unsolved Black Dahlia murder case. It's still unsolved to this day. It's still cold. A cold case is what we Americans refer to 
for my international audiences. why it's called Ralph, a pond or something reflection. on the rooftop how the hell did you see that a reflection in the window looks like it might be our weapon i'm gonna see if i can find a way up there all right don't hurt yourself the gun's up on the roof right so we need to find a way up climb up this here drain pipe There's the gap right there. What kind of chumps do these homicide guys think we Smith are? Smith and Wesson, serial S71893. Two rounds fired, and instead of dropping it down a drain, our shooter hoists it up here. Interesting guy. We should follow up on this now, before the perp tries to leave town. We have the gun, Cole. Let's take it back to... Could show some initiative, Ralph, and see if we can come up with an owner. That's a long shot, Cole. It's a pretty fancy gun. You know a local gun store? Sure. There's a place a couple of blocks from here. Are you sure about this? It's not really our gig. No harm in doing some digging. The suits didn't seem to give much of a damn. Such a little boy scout, Cole. You can't wait to get out of that uniform, can you? No. You'd rather round up drunks and help old ladies across the road? I'd rather get through the day without the captain's foot up my ass. It'll be fine, Ralph. You One worry One size much. fits all. One size fits all. You can drive. You press and hold, you can actually have your partner do the driving for you when you're lazy like I am. So off to the gun store. Good thing too is that it actually skips the progression of the story. There we go. Officers Phelps and Dunn. Can you tell us anything about this gun? Smith and Wesson, model 27, registered Magnum. Chambered for 357, nickel plated with pearl grips. Same gun used by General Patton. <laughs> You're not suggesting he's the owner? No, I'm not. You seem to know a lot about the weapon. I ought to. I sold it. You know, this piece will stop a rhino. These babies are only available special order. Here's my Smith and Wesson order book. You mind if I take a look? Be my guest. This is about something bad, right? Yep. A murder. Model 27 with pearl grips, Cole. You see it on there? That's our guy. We're in luck. Errol Schroeder. 203 South Glass Street. Ordered the gun in February 46. Thanks. You've been a big help. Anytime. Always happy to help out the LAPD. Do we call it in? Let's see if he's at home. Owning the gun doesn't prove he pulled the trigger. Okay. I'll try this time. In for a penny, in for a pound. Lead the way, Gunga Den. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. Now that wasn't so hard, was it? Just because we're in uniform doesn't mean we can't use our initiative. I guess so. Seems a little too good to be true. One of a kind murder weapon bought locally using a real name? If Schroeder's our shooter, he's no criminal mastermind. Most of them aren't. That's why they get caught. And two out of every three crimes are done on impulse. 
Another fact from the Phelps Encyclopedia of Thin Air. You really are full of it. Schroeder's apartment, 10.23 p.m. Well, you don't see that every day. Schroeder, apartment two. What do you guys want? I'm Officer Cole Phelps. This is Officer Dunn, Wilshire Division. You're the owner of a Smith & Wesson Model 27, nickel-plated with pearl grips? I might be. What of it? Then you'll be surprised to know that Scooter Payton was murdered tonight with your gun. You're out of your mind. Scooter, he works for me. I have that gun here in my drawer. What the fuck is going on here? You're under arrest, Schroeder. Cuff him, Ralph. No way. You're not taking me down for this. Oh, yes, we are. Ooh. What a hook. That was a very... Hey, you knocked off my hat. Oh, you're going down, man. I saw the police officer. What are you going to suck a... Ow. Ooh. Bone chip. Ooh. Right in the gut. Hope you didn't have dinner just now. <laughs> Broke a chair. Ralph, you all right? I'm fine. I hardly felt it. He's lucky he caught me off guard. Oh, Keep boy. an eye on him, Ralph. I'm going to take a look around. What do we got here? It's a numbers book. Floyd Rose is in it. List of names in a series of numbers. And he was the detective on this. Floyd scene. Rose's name is in this book. Phelps, Could we can he... come out of this all bright and shiny with a commendation. Or I stick our schlongs in a hornet's nest. Call it in, partner. And leave the book where you found it. I think that detective planted the gun on... Officer Phelps, badge 1247. The question. crime scene, the frame, Arrow Schroeder. And he was the one... The detective was the one who shot the gun. And then he tossed his gun up there. Stole his gun from his drawer. Yeah. Flashback sequence. Fucking sons of bitches, get in this line now before I lose my temper. Excuse me, Sergeant, but... Excuse me? Fuck you! You say another word and I'll break your fucking head and have you in the brig. Some of us are here for... I know why you're here, asswipe. I'm having a bad day, Private. Some people don't seem to want to get on this bus. I didn't ask for your help. He didn't ask for your help. Can you believe this guy? Who are you two? Abbott and Costello? We're here for OCS, Sergeant. So it's the three fucking stooges and you're here for <laughs> OCS. God help this fucking country in the USMC. The Japanese will do the world a favor and kill you quickly. All three of you are on report. What are your fucking names? Phelps. Kelso. Merrill. Any other gentlemen for OCS? OCS is at Elliott. You take the Camp Elliott bus over there. This bus is for MCRD. This bus is for men who want to fight. What a dick. Well, World War II was serious back in the 1940s. Well, you picked the right place, Cole. Dangerous. A city that needed an honest cop like a thirsty man needed water. You'd heard the stories, but you weren't interested. You were here to fight the good fight, solve cases, right wrongs. But the force is like politics. There's no city on the fence. You have to choose sides. 
A brown paper envelope or a Greyhound ticket to Palookaville? They could only ever end one way. All units at 211 in progress and shots fired at Westlake. That's for my international YouTube subscribers. A 211 is police code for armed robbery. We'll take that. It's only a couple it blocks from 14 a Adam calling code KGP or, uh, We'll handle the 211. You're inside the location. Roger that, 14 Adam. Be advised suspects are armed and dangerous. In the States, a 211 is an armed robbery. Adam on route. Get out the way. Police business. There's a map. I always had to use a checkpoint. Waypoint. Here we Take go. Quick, you guys, the cops are here. We gotta move it. Damn, it's shooting like a motherfucker. Sucker. Head down. Use the cover, Phelps. Always do. We don't know how many are in there. Take yep. it slow. I know how many are Back about to leave. Soon. Off on their way to the morgue. LAPD, put down your weapons. The bank is surrounded. I'm offering you Not a, a chance. To... Chance, copper. You come any closer, we'll cut you in half. Ooh, I'm so scared. Forward. Stay down. You could use blind fire. Ooh. Bam. Guy up on the balcony. Ooh, he got a Tommy gun. Say goodbye to your head. That's it? We got them all? Ooh, what I a think mess. we got them, Cole. Should be all clear. Look at the bloodstains. Lieutenant Hopkins says anytime you reach for the shotguns, you're either going to end up dead or wearing a citation. So I guess... It's okay, Ralph. You did well in there. I'm glad you had my back. Man couldn't ask for a better partner. <laughs> Another flashback. A dig into Cole this kind of opportunity past. comes along once in a lifetime, Hank. <laughs> I have to grasp it. You have to survive at first, Cole. Here are the veterans. The Japs love to shoot officers. If I can make a name for myself in this war, my future... Thinking of taking on a company of the Emperor's finest single-handed? You don't seem the Sergeant York type to me. When I need your opinion, Kelso, I'll ask for it. They talk about officers like you in boot camp, Cole. They call it the Custer Syndrome. Guys who go around dreaming of fame and glory and getting all of their men killed in the process. Our duty is to lead, Kelso. And their duty is to die for Custer's your wonderful last future? Stand. So Jack Kelso and Cole Phelps, the main character, they have a fallen out history. With Cole each other. Phelps and Jack Kelso. There you go. With some people, it's as simple as chemistry. Two guys who should have been friends, but their personalities got in the way. Phelps, a good guy, wound way too tight. And Kelso, a quiet man who could never walk away from a fight. Well, it's a shame you don't like to talk about it, Cole. Ralph, 
Friends who want to stay friends don't discuss religion or politics. And in my case, you can add the war to that. Uh, I know that bomb. Wendell Bowers. I put him away before. He jumped parole. So we got a bill. Get after him, Phelps. I'll head him off in the car. Wendell <laughs> Bowers! Stop! LAPD! You can go screw yourself. Why, you! Watch it! He's hiding in the alley! No shit, Sherlock. Stop, Wendell. Stop Power. resisting. Hold it right there. Stop now or I will shoot. I won't tell you again, Wendell. Come on, Wendell. I don't want to do this, Wendell. Get down from there right now. You might want to surrender, Give Wendell. Give it up, Wendell. Don't run for me. Stay the hell away from me. You got warrant, Wendell. You've got to be kidding. You fucking asked for it. There's no way I'm going back inside. Oh, there's a way. And you will go back inside. I've done my time. It's Tell that to the Bowers. judge. You assholes Bowers. already screwed me once. Give it up, Bowers! There's I nowhere left to then, go! They, oh, yeah, they did have flabby detectives. Ah! Ooh, clothesline. Looks like we've got the place to ourselves. All right. Ooh, right uppercut. What you doing, Wendell? Your parole officer's feeling lonely. He's got a hole in his life for an asshole like you. You can make it up to him in 10 years' time. Watch your head. This hump will be back in the Iron Hotel by tomorrow night. Nice work, Cole. You run track in high school? I served in the war. What do you think? Flashback. Part of the tradition of the Marine Corps and being an officer in the Marine Corps is the ability to make tough decisions. The right decision is not always the popular one. The right decision will get the men you care about killed. These ratings and your ability to give them frankly and truthfully directly affect your chances of successfully becoming a Marine officer. Candidate Phelps, you have the floor. Esprit de corps. Merrill, 10. Franklin, 8. Weiss, 8. Donahoe, 6. Kowalski, 6. Hudson, 5. Kelso, 2. Leadership. Donahoe, eight. Franklin, seven. Merrill, six. Kowalski, six. Weiss, five. Hudson, five. Kelso, one. Candidate uh, Kelso. I'm sorry, Captain, but I joined barrel. the Marine Corps to fight the enemy, not get involved in the schoolboy chicken shit. Kelso, in my office, now! Are you a conscientious objector, Kelso? Here we go. For every cop, there's the case that makes you. Gives you that leg up, gets you recognized as the shining new star in the squad. The case that you solve that shows that you have the gumption, the gung-ho, the get-up-and-go to make you stand out from your average rank-and-file patrolman. This could be the one goal. This is the one. LAPD! Could you stand clear of the body, please? Has anyone called an ambulance? We've called an ambulance and the police, but I'm afraid he's dead. People say that this guy looks just like John Pryor from Two and a Half Men. Okay, stand further back and move along. It's your choice, but make it quick, people. Hey, Cole. You got here quick. My beat crosses 7th Street. Okay. You're first reporting, then. We'll get a perimeter going and move the crowd on. You better see what you can find out before the homicide dicks show up. I'll be with you in a moment. I heard this is a so let's look at the Everybody body. Everybody stay back. Let us do our job. Broad daylight. Crowded street. I've seen everything. This case was actually featured in the gameplay overview of L.A. Noir when it first came out in 2011.
And I was there for the midnight release, I might add. And I had an old YouTube channel, but I couldn't, didn't figure out what people were doing. Like, I was not, at that time, putting up gameplay. So like this one with the Let's Play, like I have now in 2023. That's 12 years. So this is a layaway voucher. C. Galleta? And it's for some pearl earrings. C. Galleta. Layaway receipt. Pearl earrings. Made out to Bank of Arcadia. I think I checked that part. All right, all right. Yes, it's a dead person. And I had to be careful not to walk around and contaminate the crime scene because you can fail a case doing that. So you can't walk into the blood. What was this? All right. No. Here we go. No. Oh, look at that. Bullet case. Shell casings. These look like 32s. And here. Because I did see this in the gameplay overview, preview, way back then. FN Browning. Serial number 011138. Might need to run it by a gun store. Eagleson's gun store is a couple blocks from here. This guy in the crowd thinks he saw something, Cole. You better take a statement. I will. It's a John Carter looking dude. Yeah, no, that's not him. Sir, I'm Officer Phelps. What exactly did you see? I heard the shots. I thought it was a car backfiring. Uh, I saw a girl run at the shoe store. Why can't we get any closer? Speak to the witness before homicide arrives, Phelps. And if you think she's lying, don't be afraid to get forceful. Verbally, of course. And don't accuse her of anything without proof. Lawyers love that shit. And if you're sure she's straight up, try the general approach. See what you can coax out of her. Okay, now we're about to interview the POI, the person of interest in this uh, murder. Uh, can I, can I help you, sir? I'm Officer Phelps, miss. I'm here about the shooting. Did you know the victim? <laughs> he was my boss. Mr. Gage. Mr. Gage's first name? Everett. And you are? Galleta. Clovis Galleta. Witnesses' details are entered on the left. Questions are listed on the right. Do you think you could tell me exactly what happened, miss? I look around the shops at lunch. I was in a store when Mr. Gage, my boss, bursts in yelling that I'm late on my lunch. And? We Observe came back. the witness closely as they make the statement. I was statement. angry. You will need to judge whether or not they are w telling the truth. I heard shots. I turned and saw Mr. Gage fall. <laughs> if you think the witness is lying and you have proof, select lie. To accuse a witness of lying, you will need to present evidence. Press Y to accuse the witness of lying. Lying. You're lying, Miss Galetta. You know what happened and why. You're going to tell me. There's nothing to tell. I've done nothing wrong. No. How can you prove different? Lay away, voucher. 
Your pearl earrings, Miss Galetta. You've been paying for them for a whole year. Stop lying and tell me what happened at the jewelry store. Oh, God. I won't lose the earrings, will I? You could lose your freedom, you little fool, if you don't stop obstructing a murder investigation. Mr. Kalu. Edgar Kalu. He runs the jewelry store. He's showing me a lovely watch. Mr. Gage bursts in. Mr. Kalu gets very angry with Mr. Gage, and they start yelling at each other. Mr. Gage tells me that all of the things in the store are junk, nickel-plated, made in Japan, and yells at me to get back to work. Then what happened? We get back here, and I hear a loud bang. Mr. Gage clutches at his back. I hear another bang, and another, and another. Mr. Gage falls to his knees. It looked very painful. Possible murder suspect. Which jewelry store? Hartfields. Broadway, between 5th and 6th. Did you see the person who shot Mr. Gage? Of course I did. Mr. Callow looked very angry. He kept firing the gun. He kept pulling the trigger. He threw the gun in a bin and turned and walked away. If you think the witness is lying but you lack proof, select doubt. Press X to call the statement into doubt. You're making me angry, Miss Galetta. Is that what you want? Tell me why Mr. Kalu shot Mr. Gage. Mr. Gage hates Jews. A lot of people do. It's not my fault if he has nice things. Religious, possible religious motives. Now, details of shooting. How many shots did you hear, Miss Galetta? It's difficult to remember. It sounded like there were so many, and they were so loud. If you think the witness is telling the truth, select truth. Press A to accept the statement as truth. I need you to concentrate, Miss Galetta. Even minor details can become important later on. Well, there was one bang, and then another, and then three very quickly close together. Five. Thank you for your help, ma'am. You've been very brave. We'll need you to make a formal statement about what happened to Mr. Gage. Does that Intuition mean I can still can collect break my... cases by enhancing your my... investigation and interrogation skills? Never mind. I missed that. Yes, officer, I'll make a statement. Good kid. We have the murder weapon. And the murder. The girl saw it all. Our killer works at a jewelry store called Hartfield. That's a couple of blocks from here. Thinking what I'm thinking? Tate, maintain the perimeter. Officer, please tell me what's going on. A man's been murdered. Look around. Unless you're blind. I heard this is a triple murder. We're going to stop at Eagleson's gun store to verify the gun.
we put on the police siren, cars in front of you are going to pull right over and stop it's just to let you pass. Eaglesons, guns and sporting goods store. Controls a little wonky. Officers, what can I do you for? Officers Phelps and Dunn, sir, Wilshire Division. We need you to trace a serial number. Sure. What's the make and model? FN Browning, model 1922. The serial number is 01138. You don't say. Well, I didn't sell it. Europeans love them, but it's pretty rare you find one over here. Although I did have one in here a couple weeks back. Remember the owner? Yeah. Kalu. Edgar Kalu was his name. Thing looks like he'd never been fired, but he brought it in here for cleaning anyway. Then he bought a box of cartridges and he left. You know where we can find Mr. Kalu? Told me he was on his lunch break. Said he worked at Hartfield's jewelry store just up on Broadway. Thanks for your help. to bring in Edgar Kalu for the murder of Everett Gage. Officer, can I interest you in a new watch? Officer Cole Phelps, are you Edgar Kalu? Uh, no. Uh, Mr. Kalu is out back. He said he'd lie down. That's character I'll buzz him for Michael you. Silver. He's been in some TV shows. Hey, where do you think you're going? Son of a bitch! Go, Cole, go! Hurry, officer! Stop He's resisting. No yeah, I'm not blind, jackass. Kalu! Get back here! Bring it a bowl of that chili. Stop! Shoot the creep! He has an answer for what he's Some doing. People. Be careful. He looks Too dangerous. late, Kalu! Boy, let's take it even better, baby. Oh, brother! What the uh, hell? Christ almighty! Get out of the way! Don't make it worse, Kalu! Making this worse on yourself, Kalu. You wait. Five years from now, all our jobs will be done by robot. <laughs> what are we waiting for? Ah. Edgar Kalu, you're under arrest for the murder of Everett Gage. The case that makes you, and the case that breaks you. The one you never solve. The one that keeps you awake at night. The case that gnaws at your guts and ruins your marriage. The case that keeps you propping up a bar as you relive the what-ifs, the might-have-beens, the half-leads, and the half-truths. The case that other cops murmur about whenever you walk past. The case you never, ever discuss. 
God's mill may grind slowly, but it grinds finely, son. I hear it's you who nabbed our malefactor from the shooting yesterday. Yes, sir. Then tell me, Boyle, I hear you're quite the climber, a man of initiative. How would you like a chance at smiting this man with the sword of justice? You're asking me to, to conduct the interview, sir? I am, young Phelps. You've only been with us a short time, and you've assembled yourself a stellar arrest record. Not to mention the fine work you did in the war, sending heathens back to the hell they came from. But I'm curious as to whether you can turn your hand to interrogation. It takes a certain animal coming, lad. Do you think you might be ready for that? Yes, sir. I think I am. Good man. You need many things for a conviction, young Phelps. A motive, opportunity, hard evidence, and best of all, a confession. If you fail in the former, you can always use a modicum of violence to obtain the latter. <laughs> How are you feeling, lad? Fine, sir. For ACLU. Very good. The evidence is overwhelming. May the cat eat him and the cat be eaten by the devil. Bring me a confession, young Phelps. This is your chance. Don't fail me. I won't, Captain Donnelly. Edgar Kalu. Has my lawyer arrived yet? I want to see my lawyer. A lawyer can't help you, Mr. Kalu. You shot a man dead in cold blood. You're going to have to pay for that. You're not slick, man. You followed Everett Gage and the girl back to the shoe store. You put five rounds in Gage's back. Gage was a, was a bastard. Whatever he got, he got what was coming. But it had nothing to do with me. Wrong. It had everything to do with you, Edgar Kalu. Careful use of intuition can lead to breakthroughs in the case and interrogations. Lying. You shot Gage, and we know why. We can put you at the scene. You can't prove anything. Oh, yes, I can. The testimony of Clovis Gaeta. We know all about the argument. Miss Galetta made a statement. You're, you're counting on the girl? You think her testimony is going to stand up in court? You're Not going yours. to the gas chamber, Edgar. That you hating fuck couldn't leave me alone. I had a sale. That girl was ready to buy. Possible religious motor. Let's change the subject. You fasting for Yom Kippur, Mr. Cullen? Yeah, let's change the subject, you going motherfucker. How about baseball? You're not Boy, denying your Jew, Mr. Yiddish Kalu. Means this is America. Not it's not Jewish Germany. Male. It's not a crime. Some people don't like Jews, Mr. Kalu. Yeah, and I guess you're one of them. Gage hated Jews, didn't he, Mr. Kalu? I don't know what you're talking about. You're lying, but I don't have any proof, so it's a doubt. You left-wing leaning parasite you expect me to sit here and listen to your drivel you call me that you sit there and you call goy, me those goy, names goy. you goddamn goy butt snatcher you butt are that snatcher. stuck gauge <laughs> why did you do it mr kalu <laughs> gauge he's in the chamber of commerce he's in with all those momsers he blocked every proposal i ever put forward kike this and kike that he's been trying to ruin my business for years edgar kalu i'm charging you with the first degree murder of everett gauge I respect your beliefs and your right to hold them. I hope for your sake the jury can commute to murder in the second degree. They won't. May God have mercy on the you. The gas sir. chamber for your ass. It's the gas for your ass, Edgar Kalu. Masterfully done, Officer Phelps. Mm -hmm. It is just Officer Phelps. Isn't it, lad? Yes, sir. Then let me have a word with the chief of police, young Phelps. The department needs heroes. A shining, honest face the public can admire. I applaud a man with your talent for unwavering justice. Back to your duties for now, Boyle. But here's a piece of advice. Get yourself two suits, get them pressed. You'll be needing them. Okay. Los Angeles Department Police Office. Los Angeles Police Department Police Officer's Fitness Report. The officer displays sound investigative technique, service weapon proficiency, P 
peak physical conditioning. Keen interrogation instincts. The officer display. Oh yeah. Result? Passed. Patrol complete. Your actions have earned you a promotion. Prepare for reassignment. Oh joy. Now I'm a detective now. Off to the desk of traffic. The driver's seat. Here's your new desk, kid. You're on traffic. The hot sheet is posted here, next to the map. What's his problem? That's Biggs. He's an institution. So this is what all the fuss is about. Why couldn't they build a freeway that goes past my place? They haven't even approved the money yet, kid. The bond issue won't be till December. It'll be years before any of this will happen. Here's your new partner, Stefan Burkowski. I've heard all about you, Phelps. You go easy on me and let me earn the odd citation, and maybe we'll get along fine. I'm here to learn, detective. Oh, he's an intense one, isn't he, Mel? He's intense. The newly minted detective here, Cole Phelps. Hi, Phelps. I'll be keeping an eye on you. I could spend a little time basking in reflected glory. Make a change from busting hookers and dope fiends. Who was that, Commander? Roy Earl, chief detective and advice. Are they all dressed like movie stars? Well, Roy is a movie star. And the whole of the seedy side of L.A. is his audience. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? Stick with me, kid. You'll find out. And now some housekeeping. Warm Central Division welcome for Detective Cole Phelps. Some of you guys may know Phelps. He's the cop who broke the jewelry store murder. Stand up and take a bow, Phelps. If it's all right with That's you, sir. That's an order, Phelps. Ooh. Shh, shh, quiet, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Phelps is one of only two serving LAPD officers who received the Silver Star during the war. You really gave it to those lousy Japanese, eh, Phelps? Uh, I did my best, Captain. Why are you war heroes always so modest? I've partnered Phelps with everybody's favorite pole, Stefan Bukowski. <laughs> Hope you like work, kid. Bukowski sure as hell doesn't. Well, that's why we have partners, right? <laughs> okay, okay, can it, guys. Stick with Bukowski. He's a good cop. He knows traffic inside now. I'm going to start you out with one case. You do okay? I'll give you a couple more. You screw up, you'll be rousing vagrants and running license plates. In other words, get down to the PE the freight depot, 6th and Alameda. A patrolman called in a suspicious vehicle. Signs of foul play. See what you can find out. Come on, Phelps. He got this gadget wig putting recording devices into the place. He ran the light on Olympic, and we finally collared him on Temple. They really pushed you through quick, didn't they? Six years on patrol before I got this desk. You were here in five minutes. What do you want me to say? I didn't ask for any favors. It's a cop from the newspapers. I don't need this. There he says he'll sing. Only if I guarantee he walks. You know this place? Sure. Near the old gas works and signal depot in the warehouse district. I'll direct. All units of 459 just occurred Ooh, in Ooh, a little break in the action. Any unit to handle Some code street two crimes. identified. A little break in the action, folks. You'll get like a police, you know, like you'll get a police call on the radio for like crimes in progress. So like I said, it's a break in the action. Mass gunman. Huh. So, tell me a little about yourself, Phelps. Are we friends now, Bukowski? 
We have to work together. Don't be so touchy. Grew up in San Francisco. My father was in shipping. Went to college at Stanford. Did two years ROTC before Marine OCS at Camp Elliott. Shipped out in early 45 as a first lieutenant. Fought in the Okinawa campaign. I was wounded. Shipped back home. Did a year on the beat. Now I'm here. So you won the Silver Star. I don't want to talk about it. Now let me get this straight. You single-handedly killed 40 Japs on this hill in Okinawa. No, you were up there all night, draped in the flag, knife between your teeth, gun at the ready, finished? The Emperor Hirohito himself leading the charge against you. I did my part, Bukowski. What did you do? I kept the streets of LA safe for the people. Yeah, now I get it. Unfit for service. Now fuck you, Phelps. I earned a bravery citation during the Zuda riots. Zuda riots. Sounds like you had it rough. I, I did look that up on Wikipedia. I want to say, and you didn't. I did six years as a patrolman. That's the third time you've told me. Oops. Crashed into a subway, into a trolley. <laughs> All units of 459 just occurred at 6th and Saras. Any unit to handle, code 2, identify. 11K, go ahead, KGPL. 11K, a 459 suspect just left 6th and Saras. Suspect is a male Caucasian, believed to still be in the area. Code 2. Here we go. Up on the roof, officer. He has a mask on his face. I caught sight when he shoved past me, but be careful. I saw him waving a gun. change my outfit. Give it up now. Make it easy on yourself. Shoot straighter with the Thompson bolt action rifle and shotgun. Get the hell away from me! Stop. Don't let the perp get away. Perp, I don't want him to grab a hostage. Down. I think he just grabbed the hostage. I think I got a 1911 in my hand. Uh-oh, he grabbed the hostage. Now, are we gonna make a bargain or what? Put the weapon down, now! Put your weapons down and your hands in the air! You want me to paint the fucking sidewalk? Oh, damn it, I shot the hostage. Fuck. Fuck me. Let's try that again. Man. All units of 459 just occurred at 6th and Saras. Any unit to handle, code 2, identify. Hey, we'll 11K, take... go ahead, KGPL. Should I get it right this 11K, time? 11K, a 459... Bypass that. Stop, you bastard! Make it easy on yourself. Stop, you bastard! This one's the best one. No. To get this guy. Hurry! 
Hurry, you can ah, still catch Jesus. him. I think you broke my nose. Stop, you dickhead. Gotcha, sucker. One way ticket to the morgue. I think that's going to do it for this edition of Let's Play Classic L.A. Noir. I'm Kill the Vid for the 9 to 5 Outlaw Does Gaming YouTube and Twitch channel. And if you like what you just saw, feel free to like, subscribe, comment, and share on this channel. I'll be bringing some more L.A. Noir shortly on the 9 to 5 Outlaw Does Gaming YouTube and Twitch channel. Also, if you are feeling generous and would like to contribute to the channel, you'll be pleased to know that I actually have a Patreon. Link in the description. Until then, I'm Kill the Vid for the 9 to 5 Outlaw Does Gaming YouTube and Twitch channel. Take care. Stay safe.